Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at combinations. So let's start off by looking at a scenario. So consider a state park that manages five beaches labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Due to budget constraints, new restrooms can only be built on three of the beaches. There are 10 ways for the state to select those three beaches. Let's see if we can list them here. So of course we can start with A, B, C. So that would mean that beaches A, B, and C get bathrooms and D and E do not. Since it doesn't matter what order I list them in, I'm not going to include B, A, C as a separate listing because that is still the same three beaches receiving the bathrooms. So my next listing might be A, C, and D. That means bath beaches A, C, and D would get bathrooms and B and E do not. Continuing in this way, A, C, E would be an arrangement. A, B, D is an arrangement. A, B, E, A, D, E. And in that way, our first five, we've gotten all of the ways that A can be included. Now moving to starting with B. So we can of course have B, C, D. We could have B, C, E. And we could have B, D, E. So that's all the ways that B can be in there without A. Now that's nine out of our 10. The only arrangement we haven't listed is C, D, and E. Okay, so this is an example of taking groups of three out of a group of five and making combinations. Unlike with permutations that we've studied in previous videos, the order that we list those three items does not matter. So A, B, C and B, A, C are not distinctly different here. They would be the same combination. So this is when in each selection order does not matter, this situation represents a combination of n objects taken r at a time. We denote this with this ncr, which is read as n choose r. And we calculate that using n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. So let's take an example using that. So let's say this, the state's Department of Transportation plans to develop a new section of interstate highway and receives 16 bids for the project. The state plans to hire four of the bidding companies. How many different combinations of the four companies can be selected? So we have 16 items to choose from, or 16 companies to choose from, we're going to choose four of those items, or four of those companies. So that means we would be working with 16 factorial divided by 16 minus four factorial times four factorial. So if we were to write that out or simplify that once, that would be 16 factorial divided by 12 factorial times four factorial. So that can be written as 16 times 15 times, let's go in order here, 14 times 13 times 12 and everything below it, which I'm just gonna shorthand as 12 factorial divided by 12 factorial times, four factorial would be four times three 
times 2 times 1. Now notice I knew that 12 factorial was going to cancel out as part of that 6 factorial. So I was able to just write it once and go from there. So now I can work to simplify my 4, 3, 2 into my 16, 15, 14, 13 to make my life a bit easier. So 4 times 2 is 8, and I know that can go into 16 2 times. And that leaves me only with the 3 on the bottom, and I know 3 can go into 15 5 times. So now what I have in my numerator is 2 times 5 times 14 times 13 all over 1, or 2 times 5 times 14 times 13 is 1,820 ways for them to choose four companies out of the 16 bids they received. All right, guys, that does it for this video on combinations. We'll catch you in the next video.